Stick around later for Jimmy Fallon as John Krasinski drops by tonight. Next, the new details we're learning about the YouTube shooter. Also, her inflammatory social media posts, which are giving us some insight to a possible motive behind the attack. And has the Saudi crown prince arrived? The scene in front of the Four Seasons Hotel next. Keep things simple, natural, and comfortable in your home with the Villa Sonoma Collection at Living Spaces. Authenticity and quality are the heart and soul of these designs. From reclaimed solid woods to durable metals to cozy, neutral fabrics, every material matters, and each unique piece represents a true value. If you're ready to add rustic charm, farmhouse character, or industrial style to your room, you're ready to explore the Villa Sonoma Collection, available exclusively at Living Spaces. Right now at 11, who is she and why did she do it? Tonight, our investigative unit has confirmed the identity of the shooter who opened fire at YouTube. 38-year-old Nassim Ogdam, a woman who was no stranger to YouTube. Ironically, she had a very active channel where she posted dozens of videos. We continue our exclusive reporting with many new developments at this late hour. Here's what we're seeing right now. YouTube headquarters in San Bruno. It's still a very active crime scene. You might know more than 1,000 YouTube employees work at this headquarters. It will be difficult to return to the office for many of them. This shooting was chaotic and terrifying. People literally running for their lives. One victim, you see her here, running right into the nearby Carl's Jr. across the street where strangers rush to help her. As for the shooter, investigators towed her car away this evening. This is exclusive video now. Nassim Ogdam, we have learned, drove to the Bay Area from Southern California. We've also learned her path to the Bay Area went through Mountain View. Within the past 45 minutes, Mountain View police confirming to us they found Ogden asleep in her car in a parking lot at about 2 a.m. this morning. They notified her parents who had reported her as missing. Let's bring in our senior investigator, Stephen Stock, with all this. And Stephen, you reported earlier today this might not be a simple domestic dispute as investigators initially told us. There's a lot more to the story. Exactly right, Raj. We discovered long before the 38-year-old Nassim Agdam went to YouTube headquarters in San Bruno today, she had been posting videos ranting against the company, complaining that YouTube had been censoring her. And her father told Mountain View police she might be going to YouTube because she, quote, hated the company. People like me are not good for big businesses. Several law enforcement.